Part B Overview. For reading Part B, we will discuss the format and structure of the tests, the three question types in Part B, and how to understand and read the short text in. Let's have a look at the format and structure of reading. The first test in reading, which is Part A. This consists of 20 questions that needs to be answered in 15 minutes. Reading test is Part B and Part C combined. Part B has six short texts with three multiple choice answer options. Part C will have two longer texts with eight questions each and four multiple choice answer options. In Part B, you will answer six questions, while in Part C, you will have a total of 16 questions from the two long texts. You will need to complete both parts within 45 minutes. Part B will test your ability to understand uh, different questions such as gist, purpose, and detail. Part C will test more of your comprehension skills, how to understand long comprehensive texts, how to infer meaning, and how to identify different points of view. As Part B is shorter, we recommend completing this part within 10 to 12 minutes to give you more time to tackle the longer text in Part C. Reading Part B is made up of six short texts of approximately 100 to 150 words each. The texts are not related to each other and will cover several different topics related to healthcare. For each text, you must answer one three-option multiple-choice question. For example, choose between option A, option B, or option C. Reading Part B requires you to identify and understand the purpose, gist, main point, or a particular detail of a short text. This will depend on the focus of each question, which you will need to identify before reading the text. This means reading Part B requires deeper reading and comprehension to be able to select the correct answer. You get a total of 45 minutes to complete reading Parts B and Part C. This means you have to manage your time carefully, as reading Part C is longer and slightly more complex. Spending too much time on reading Part B means that you might run out of time to complete reading Part C. We suggest spending about 10 to 12 minutes on reading B or around about 2 minutes per text or per question. Part B context, question, and text are all on the same page. There will be a question prompt at the top which tells you the topic of the text and what type of text you will be asked to read. The three multiple choice answer options are in the middle with a short text at the bottom, roughly 100 to 150 words each, or some of them can be slightly shorter, such as 90 words or 140. Your job is to pick the best answer by shading the letter with your pen or your pencil. For reading Part B, we will discuss the format and structure of the tests, the three question types in Part B, and how to understand and read the short text in The three question types in reading Part B are main idea, purpose, and detail. Main idea questions will ask you what the main topic is all about, or the main or the most important idea in the text that you will read. Some of the keywords used in your question that tells you that a main idea question is being asked includes the word tell, highlight, important, focus, and in our example question, 
the word inform. Can you think of any other synonyms that is looking for the main point or the main topic? The answer choices will avoid repeating words or phrases from the text. So it is important that you think about the overall meaning of the text. The extracts in part B are short, so there is time to read the full text using the questions to guide you and guide your understanding. In this example, the first two sentences tells us that the medical devices may be susceptible to interference, which is the opposite meaning of option A. It also tells us that they may not work correctly and can be unsafe. This corresponds to option B. The next two sentences then talks about how to prevent unsafe situations, but really never told us that it can be used in all hospitals, so C is wrong. The last sentence confirms that B is the correct answer. As it says, we need to avoid using the BP monitor within 7 meters of cell phones or other devices. This is the same as in close proximity to some other devices. A purpose question requires you to choose the answer that best explains the purpose of the text. Why was it written? Typical words that signify that this is a purpose question can be the synonym of the word purpose, such as goal, aim, objective, intention. Another type of uh, signposting that this is a purpose question can be the use of the question why and the word because. The first few sentences in this example gives us the background information about opioids. The last sentence recommends a change. This signifies that the correct answer is letter B because letter B explains the background, which is the first few sentences, and it also discusses the change in the patient care. So B is the right answer. Detailed questions will ask you to answer a question about a specific part of the text. They will include words in the question that you can use to skim the text for the relevant information. Typical detailed question uh, includes the question who, when, where, how, sometimes there's also a which, as well as the modal verbs must, can, should, and others. In this example, we have the modal should. What should healthcare professionals do? If we read the first sentence, it tells us that a patient may request a chaperone. A healthcare professional should use their judgment to assess an individual's situation. Assess means evaluate, which is in option B. Individual situation is synonymous to case-by-case -case basis. Therefore, our answer is option B. For reading part B, we will discuss the format and structure of the tests, the three question types in part B, and how to understand and read the short text. In the three question types in part B will help you understand what information you should find or skim within the text. The other strategy that can help is understanding the different types of text that you will read in part B. Part B text will generally be made up of extracts from the following text types, notices, memos, emails, manuals, and guidelines. The information will not focus on technical and medical information, but instead will cover guidelines, policies, and procedures. Details that will remind you of procedures to follow, updates or changes to a current policy, or perhaps instructions for using a specific machinery at work. 
Notices are important means of communicating a safety corrective action and related safety information to staff. It may also be used to provide updated information about how a particular equipment can be used. Memos have a twofold purpose. They bring attention to problems and they solve problems. They accomplish their goals by informing the reader about new information such as policy changes, price increases, or by persuading the reader to take an action, such as attend a meeting or change a current production procedure. Healthcare email marketing enables providers to manage communication effectively and track engagement. In addition, your staff can utilize the information you gather about patient interaction from your emails to improve communication and relationship building activities. Effective communication among staff encourages effective teamwork and promotes continuity and clarity within the patient care team. At its best, good communication encourages collaboration, fosters teamwork, and helps prevent errors. Every single company is required to create a document that professionally communicates the usage and benefits of their equipment. Upon purchasing, buyers would often find what's called a user manual. Inside are instructions that give assistance to users by telling them how to operate and maintain a particular equipment. If the text that you're going to read is a clinical guideline, these are evidence-informed recommendations intended to optimize patient care. A valid guideline has the potential to influence care outcomes, but for that, it needs to be effectively disseminated and implemented so that it can inform care processes. This type of text and questions can help you identify the ways that you will find information within the text. For example, if the email is a reminder, it is likely to discuss recent changes to practices and what is expected of you. Part B is designed to assess your ability to scan and select relevant information from a text that you are likely to encounter in your daily work life as a healthcare professional. To improve your score in reading B, Practice by reading various instruction materials at work. Take note of main ideas and purposes. Pay attention to signs and notices around you as they will use similar language to those that you will find in reading part B.